Hello everyone, this is Richard with First Class Gardens. Welcome into our grow bench. And I've got another exciting video for you guys today. I got a lot of positive feedback on our rose and potato video. So we're gonna try a lemon tree today. Um, one regret I do have on that video that I did not show you guys the cinnamon or honey method to, um, to rooting a, cu a cutting. So we're gonna do the all natural way and we're gonna do the chemical way with the Clonex. That way you get two in one. And all we're going to do is we're going to peel off some of these older leaves and get rid of this older stem. This is just a couple suckers that were growing up right off my lemon tree. It needed pruned anyways. So these are great to try and, and root because it's new growth and they're ready to just start to grow. So got a lot of energy there. And these are the ones that you want to try to get to root. You're going to have a lot of success if you're using newer growth rather than older growth. So let's snip this old green part off here. And there we go. Again, make sure that all your utensils are washed down with alcohol. And I'm going to actually drill into the potato with a drill bit again today. Just make sure that your drill bits are oil free, alcohol, just wipe them down, cotton swab or whatever. Just clean those up. All right. So I've got my drill bit today. This is a little bit smaller than the rose cuttings that we were using the other day. And that looks like about the right size. We want to match up the, the width of the stem with the size of the drill bit. Well, that looks like it's going to do there. All right, now we just got to put a drill bit in our drill. And the key is on the potato, you don't want to go all the way through it. You're going to go about three quarters of the way down. There we go. Oh, it's therapeutic. I love, I could do this all day. Drilling into potatoes. All right, so all I do is just kind of measure this up, make sure it's going to fit down in there, and that looks like it's going to do. Perfect. All right, that one's set. And we're going to do just, uh, dab a little bit of the honey down into the potato, into our hole there. Kind of let it sit for about 30 seconds so it starts to seep down in there. All right. And we're going to use the ground cinnamon kind of like a uh, rooting powder. If you guys ever use rooting powder, that's all we're going to do with the uh, stem of the cutting. First thing is we want to cut off of these uh, leaves here. They're too big. It's where all our moisture is going to be released from. So by cutting the leaves in half, that's going to actually help keep the moisture in the cutting. And at the base is where we want most of the moisture to stay. So, All right, we're going to take our ground cinnamon. We're going to dab it into the ground cinnamon just like we would a rooting a hormone powder. And there it is. That's all that's needed. Let's take our potato. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and just insert it in our hole there. You can move around the honey if it hasn't gotten down in there yet. And what's going to happen, it's going to seep down into the hole. It's going to create a seal and it's going to be nice and moist down there. As that potato decomposes, it will feed your new lemon tree. All right, that one's set. Happy with that. Now, you these can go right out into the garden, but right now in northern Ohio, it's January. We've got five gallon buckets repaired. We're gonna just use some potting soil in the meantime, keep it in a warm environment, and it should be just fine. We're gonna take our second potato, we're gonna do the same thing. Here we go, my favorite part. Okay, we've drilled down into a potato about three quarters of the way down. Take our second cutting here. Yeah, this is going to be the Clonex method. Again, we're just going to trim up these leaves. We're trying to keep and retain moisture in our cutting. And so that way it can concentrate on building roots. Go. We don't need so much energy from the roots or from the uh, leaves right now. We need it to concentrate on making roots. So that's going to help in our process. And we're going to take the Clonex, guys. And uh, I do not like to get the stuff on my fingers. If you guys do get it on your hands, make sure you wash right away. Uh, working with the cap here, it makes it a little easier to apply. So that's what I do. I just pour a little in the cap there, spread it around on the cut. And um, you know, 10, 15 seconds should be long enough for it to kind of sit in there. It's going to soak in a little bit more once it gets into the potato. I'm going to slide it in there, and that's actually fitting really good. Just like our all-natural one, this one fit in really, really good. Pretty happy with that. All right, guys, there you go. You got your natural way, and then you got your Clonex way. The natural way was, of course, with the honey and the cinnamon, and then we've just got regular Clonex. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys want to go out and try the Clonex. It works great on a lot of different plants. It, um, it really helps to promote roots. So I've got a white tag, and I'm going to grab a yellow tag. We're going to mark the white tag with the honey and cinnamon, 
we're going to wrap it around the base and we'll mark the yellow one with Clonex and wrap it around the base of that cutting. That way, you can kind of keep track of which one does better. If they do both make it, um, we'll have a follow-up video to that. So there it is. Just going to wrap these around the base again. And then we'll go ahead and stick them in our five-gallon buckets. And make sure you do check back in about three, four weeks. We'll have a follow-up video to this. And if you guys try something else or you try this or if you got some suggestions you want me to try in another video, let me know down below in the description. Appreciate you guys stopping back. Make sure you leave a little feedback and thumbs up. A share always helps my channel. Well, thanks again, guys. We'll see you in the next video.